So this is Richard Take. This is NE62. And uh, we're on our way out of Seattle. Me and my son uh, went to the All Star game. And this is a terrible spot. Um, this is stuck with the Um Yeah. Uh, I felt like a constant fight with uh, trying to find a place Good to charge morning, my phone. Flight 556, service open on to Burbank, guys. You can tell here your aircraft's arrived. We're going to get the deboarding cleaned up. We're going to get you on your way to the airport. We're still just uh, about 10 minutes or so for the boarding process. We do be in that boarding process, being with those pre-board passengers. Following those pre-board passengers are A group, A1 through 30, and A31 through Finding a place to do a live stream inside of a airport. Really difficult. Uh, doing it inside of a ballpark is even worse. That did not receive an air in their boarding pass. Uh, active military ID. Also I struggle with uh, signal issues. Uh, I bet if I had a team mobile, I would have been uh, way better. But, um, but um, yeah, there, there were some issues. issues. Uh, I think I want to our B group. Take B group is just about as far as I can spot. This sucks. <laughs> Sorry, I got Even though we are not right a full flight for the FAA, you're still um, just allow those to carry on items. Anyways, one personal item must go to the seat. Part of the overhead bin. Well, if the, you have more than two uh, personal items, this would be the time to consolidate. My, my gripe had been able to do so for service be more than happy to check that have, third. Once I'm ordered to stop us for open seating with just a couple of sessions, really those three more passengers and passengers under the age of 15 are unable to send those emergency uh, exit there's rows. There's a very small section. Yeah, we'll start that boarding process here in just about 10 pen. minutes. Get you on your way to And open. then there's some standing room only behind the bullpen. And then, uh, but a lot of it is is netted so you can't really get any action there um, and everybody was a righty except for uh, one guy who was a switch hitter uh adley Weston from the orioles uh he's a switch hitter he started off the derby on the uh, hitting righty so those would go to left i was sitting in left field um unfortunately i bought my tickets before i knew who was doing what where uh so it was a, it was a lot of lefties um Lefties, or sorry, righties tend. It's a lot of righties, and they tend to go to left field. I was in, uh, I was in right field, and uh, Adley Rushman hit left, beginning, and then switch righty, and then uh, so not a lot of opportunities at the ball. Uh, we went to uh, I'm not sure, last year in uh, Los Angeles at Dodger Stadium, and that was a lot easier to to. to uh, to kind of get involved with if you're if you're at the home run derby the real action the real fun is trying to catch the ball uh, my son had did, did fine uh, he got into a couple of spots that i i had a harder time getting into he's a kid so um, they just let him go wherever he wants honestly um but uh that was nice um, as for the all-star game uh, <laughs> We went because we were here. <laughs> we had nothing better to do. The All Star Game is is really means nothing. If you win, you don't really get anything. It's more of a pat on the back. Um, and just like uh, just like the MLB and most other ones, or and, and NBA, it's patty cake baseball. And, um, nobody's really doing anything. Um, nobody's really making. Uh, like I said, there's, there's no effort <laughs> that, that's really out there. Um, you know, a guy might hit a homer or something like that. No, nobody's really going out there. Nobody's trying to get injured uh, just for an all-star game. So, um, yeah. Uh, aside from that, it was pretty cool. I mean, it's, it's a very walkable ballpark. Um, you know, everybody sits there staring at me. This is the weirdest feeling is when people think you're taking a picture of them, but you're really on camera here. Um, and it's pointed at yourself. Um, so everybody's like, are you taking my picture? Um, we're just hanging out here in the airport. There's people waiting. Our flight's about to start boarding. Um, but the, the one thing that stood out to me with this was the amount of advertising. We've been to a few All-Star games and uh, from the time we stepped off the plane uh, and, and 
actually came back. Um, here we are, two days now removed from um, the last All Star event. Uh, there's advertisement everywhere. It's on the trains, it's on the buses, uh, it's on uh, every, it's on the wall. It's, it's everywhere. It's everywhere. And the one thing that I really noticed is um, how. Not just the team, but uh, sponsors and the city have embraced uh, Julio Rodriguez. Um, you know, first off, here's the kid. He's Rookie of the Year last year. Uh, comes into uh, the home run derby last year. Kills it. Didn't win, but you know he he was he got pretty deep. Came in this year um, and. He took 41 homers, which is the most in any single round um, in the history of the home run derby. And then, uh, unfortunately, he, his next round he didn't get very much after that. He uh, he blew his wad basically uh, in the first round, but it was epic. The people were chanting his name, and it was awesome. Uh, they've really rallied around this guy. Uh, I've seen credit card ads. I've seen, I mean, his face is on everything around here. Uh, it's, uh, that's a thing I haven't seen a lot of in baseball. Um, definitely never really seen with the A's in the last decade or so, where there's like somebody truly uh, being the face of the team and being a something that that you know um, sponsors can rally around, and I, I think that's a big problem with football is that even guys like Mike Trout, you know, uh, he's got a Nike deal, but I don't ever really see him doing anything for Nike. Um, I didn't really see much of that at all. I mean, who has corporate sponsors, and why aren't these sponsors? So they have a, the play ball park, which is really the fan fest. And the player players, the modern players, aren't really at this event. Like, if, uh, I've seen it other things with NFL and NBA where they'll have their spokesperson, uh, their sponsor, their whatever you want to call it, their endorsement, their endorsee. Like, they'll be at these events. And, you can go up to the Southwest booth and get an autograph with Kevin Durant or something like that, you know. Um, sorry, he's Alaskan Airlines. It's, it's his deal. But that's the idea. You know? It's like, hey, get your Capital One card picture with Julio Rodriguez. I think that's who he's doing. But anyways, I haven't really seen that. I don't really see it much with the Giants either. I think the last thing I've seen was maybe, you know, like the... Uh, Madison Bumgarner, uh, Chevy, I think that was his thing. And then uh, I, I seen Buster Posey doing something with like a local, um, uh, uh, like <laughs> local car dealership. So that that's not a lot. But, um, these guys could be doing a lot more. I mean, with Aaron Judge, what is what is that guy could be breaking in extra dollars? But if you go to Japan, you know for sure that. Uh, Shohei Otani is on everything. He's probably selling, uh, you know, 7-Eleven ads. <laughs> it's like, the guy's, the guy's really, really marketed uh, well in, in Japan, and it's not something that's happening here. Um, but um, that was that was a real big deal. Um, the other thing that was, was kind of a, a moment here is, um, you know, with... Um, just the fan involvement uh, during Shohei Otani's at bat, you know, they were like, uh, "Come to, come to Seattle," or whatever they were saying, they were chanting, "Come to Seattle." And then, uh, of course, the big story was for, for at least for us has been uh, the A's fans, and we we were helping out a little bit, passing out little little cards. Mostly my son, um, nobody would take them from me, but they would take them from my kid. Um, but uh, the little cards that uh, that the 68s were, were giving out um, to try and rally uh, and put together a, a protest in the 5th uh, and apparently uh, that came through okay um, with uh, so at the top of the 5th uh, everybody's going to stand in silence and then 
after the first batter, uh, then uh, a chant started. Uh, you know, sell the team, sell the team, and then, um, but that one didn't last that long. It was relatively quiet, but um, it did come through on the MLB broadcast uh, because they were talking to Shohei Otani at the time, and apparently they cut the interview so that the, that the audio wouldn't begin. Um, but then when um, the A's lone player, Britt Rooker, uh, he came up the bat and it was loud. And uh, there was no cutting that one out. So that was nice. Apparently, the mayor came down and talked to Rob Manfred. Uh, now, depending on who you talk to, talk to it's, uh, it was a lot of too little, too late, according to uh, Nick Akers in Las Vegas. But he's been a kind of a show for uh, the A's PR department. Um, so I don't know how much... All right, good morning, flight five, five, six, sir. Spoken on to Berkeley. Guys, get pretty close that time. Let's get that hey, in. I'm in that eight. Right Anyways, side. guys, so uh, uh, I don't know what it means. Please do what we do. Four or five down letter number. Week. Please make sure uh, that letter corresponds with the TV when number. I'm going to get back home. I'm going to get back to work. Make sure they're ready to go. You guys start that free work process here. Just a couple. Let me get on this plane and take a nap. All right. Please like and subscribe. Thank you.